Hey, Obi-Wan, knock, knock. No, Anakin, I'm not doing this again. Come on, Master, humor me. Every time you tell me one of your knock, knock jokes, it's just to make me feel old and out of touch. Pretty please, with a cherry on top? Ugh, I'm going to regret this. Fine, who's there? Ewan. Ewan who? You underestimate my power! What? I don't get it. Anakin, seriously, tell me, what does it mean? You know what you have to say. Ugh, oh, fine. I'm old and out of touch for your humor. Now just tell me! It means you and suck on D's nuts! This is why you're not a Jedi Master. Alright, everyone. Our first video did pretty well, so we're back for a part two. Sure, but everyone was asking us to bring in more people. Just the three of us is nice and all, but... We don't need anyone else. We're perfectly fine, just the three of us. Three amigos, three best friends. Take a seat, young Skywalker. Oh, no. Please, anyone but you. Compose yourself, Anakin. Master Windu is a very well-respected member of the Jedi Council. You're welcome to join us, Master. Thank you, Master Kenobi. It's only proper that there are three Jedi in the group. Excluding the citizen, of course. I'm on Anakin's side with this one. Well, Master Windu, let's go ahead and get started. We're just going to have a series of conversations about whatever comes to our mind. All right, then. I've got a plan. Actually, as the highest-ranking Jedi here, I will come up with the plan. Whatever, dude. Listen, here's what we're going to do. Sorry, Master. I'm more inclined to trust the Sky Guy on this one. Can you put these kids into line? They aren't listening to me. I'm not their mother. Just do it. Ugh. Anakin, Ahsoka, can you please just behave for like five minutes? Okay, but only because you asked nicely. Now wait a minute. Listen, listen. I'm not their mother. Today I woke up and chose violence. I will commit arson and burn everything to the ground. I am angry. Aw, oh, you're so adorable. Look at the kid. Her first desire for world destruction. What? No, you're supposed to be scared of me. Tremble before my wrath. This is so cute. Everyone here is a clown. Including yourself. At this rate? Yeah. Obi-Wan, I'm getting seriously worried about you. Last week, when I asked you for help, you asked where I'd stowed the body. I mean, you were holding your lightsaber. Uh, I'm a Jedi. Of course I had my lightsaber. No, no, you had it ignited, and you were trying to keep me from turning the corner. Do you really think so little of me that I'd commit a murder? I wouldn't put it past you. Oh yes, real ironic coming from the guy who genocides children. No need to get your panties in a twist, gentlemen. Anakin, I thought I asked you to behave yourself. He started it. Anyone want to take bets on how many Jedi Code violations our pal Skywalker has committed so far? I'm sure it's more than I want to know about. Oh, come on, Master. It can't be that bad. I'm gonna guess. 34. Oh, please, you don't even know what you're talking about. Obi-Wan, you gotta guess. If we're talking since he started as my Padawan, I'm gonna go with at least 200. Hey, Sky Guy is crazy, but he's not that crazy. Skywalker, you got any guesses? I'm gonna guess five, but only because I know you'll be unfairly counting those mistakes I made on Batu. You're all wrong. I've counted at least 328 just since the Clone Wars started. You're so full of shit, Windu. List them all. One, using the force to play pranks on your troops, such as tripping them or making their helmets fly off during battle. Two, using Jedi mind tricks to get out of doing your chores at the Jedi Temple. Three, secretly feeding treats to the Lothcat in the temple basement we've been trying to get rid of. Four, ignoring the no attachment rule by constantly texting Padme during... Okay, okay, yeah, I get it. I didn't know you were counting those as violations. There was also that time you kept using the Force to change the hollow frequency when Master Obi-Wan was watching the news. I knew that blasted thing was working fine before you got on the planet! Can we talk about something else? Anakin, why do you have that silly grin on your face? Oh, I was just thinking about something funny Ahsoka said earlier. It wasn't funny. I was being serious. I can be serious too, you know? Sure, sure. So, what was it that Ahsoka said that was so hilarious? Well, we were on a mission, and she was trying to hack into a security system, but she accidentally triggered an alarm, and all the droids started chasing us. Hey, that wasn't my fault. The system was more complicated than I thought. And? And then Ahsoka turned to me and said, I think we're in trouble, Sky Guy. Oh, come on. That wasn't even that funny. I don't know. It sounds like something Anakin would find hilarious. Hey, it was funny. And speaking of trouble, did I tell you about the time Ahsoka got us stuck in a trash compactor? Uh, here we go again. Obi-Wan, I can't believe you're suggesting such a reckless plan. Have you forgotten that we're Jedi, not soldiers? Master Windu, we can't just sit back and wait for the droids to attack us. 
Sometimes we need to take the initiative and strike first. Strike first? Sounds like you're taking a page out of Anakin's book. I'm just trying to think outside the box. For what it's worth, Obi-Wan, I think it's an excellent plan. Uh, okay, on second thought, I'm not sure we should use this plan. Maybe you two should think inside the box for once. For instance, why don't we set up a defensive perimeter and wait for the droids to come to us? Sounds boring. I'll race you to the compound. You're on, Snips. Loser has to spend the rest of the day with Master Windu. I like my odds. If your friends were to jump off a cliff, would you too do so, young Skywalker? With all due respect, Master Windu, I'd like to let you know that my mother gave birth to a leader, an innovator, a pioneer. I'd be the first one to jump off that fucking cliff. And I'd be the one to fucking follow him. Whoa, watch your language, Ahsoka. Yeah, that just sounds wrong, coming from you. Why are you mad at me for cursing but not Anakin? That's so unfair. Because Anakin has earned the motherfucking right to curse. Obi-Wan, you're gonna distract the guards. Just keep them occupied with stories that are boring and no one would ever care about. I... I will do my best to act like somebody who does that. <laughs> you don't need to act. I mean, you're brutal. Skywalker, he knows what he is. Oh, come off it. I would expect this sort of ridiculous attitude from Anakin, but you as well, Master Windu? I expected more from you, like the time we were on Plazir 15 and dealing with those naval disputes. Man, those shungbeaks had no idea what they were doing. Did I ever tell you all about the time when- Uh, Master, you're doing it again. I... Oh, well, forget it. You can tell the guards all about the shungbeaks soon. Let's head out. Master Windu, Master Obi-Wan, huddle up. What is it, Ahsoka? I've got a plan to prank Anakin and really get him good for all the crap he's put us through lately. I like the sound of this. We just need to get this tracker on him somehow. And how are we supposed to put a tracker the size of a penny on Skywalker without him noticing? Hey, Anakin! I bet you five credits that you can't swallow this penny. <laughs> Pay up, loser. What the? Is something wrong, Anakin? Uh, you don't see this? My lightsaber is pink. Hmm, let me take a look. Ah, here's the issue. It seems your lightsaber crystal is damaged. You'll need a replacement. Great, just what I need. I honestly think the lightsaber looks better that way. What a moron. He doesn't even realize it was us. Hey, now be careful how you speak. Anakin is still my Padawan. In just the last week, he's disobeyed direct orders, crashed my ship, broke his lightsaber, and tried to fight Dooku in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Uh, he's my former Padawan. Uh, Master Windu, why are you always so harsh on Master Kenobi and Master Skywalker? Oh, uh, okay. So, one time, when Anakin was like 12, they went on a diplomatic mission after he got his first lightsaber. It went south, and they went missing. For over two months. We all thought they were dead, and in the end, Master Haley found them in on a month-long oceanic cruise on Naboo. Neither they, nor the Queen of Naboo, who was with them on her yearly vacation, thought to tell me. So, whenever I get warm feelings about them in my chest, I remember this one incident in a long-ass 20-year chunk of my life that's full of panic and worry over either of their fucking asses, and I have to hold myself back from killing them. It tests my patience. Oh, so like, you love them so much you want to drown them before they can annoy you one more time? Yes, I got a game. Just react as if someone handed you a box full of all the items you've lost throughout your life. Oh, wow, my childhood innocence. Thank you for finding this. My will to live? I haven't seen this for 15 years. I knew I lost that potential somewhere. Could you all maybe lighten up? All right, all right. Maybe you guys won't give me the rank of Jedi Master. But I can do something you can't. And I don't need to be a Jedi Master. Just because the prophecies say you may be the Chosen One doesn't mean that- I can get bitches. Yeah, what's wrong, Master? No bitches? I hate it when he does this. You three, explain now. It was Anakin. It was Anakin. Yeah, it was Anakin. Trust me. I know these guys. I know everything about them. You're a poor Jedi if you think people can't surprise you. Not these people. Here, watch this. I know what everyone's gonna do tonight. It's Tong's day, so Ahsoka's gonna leave early to practice with her Padawan Saber group. They're the nightmares of the temple. Padme's gonna be going over her new bill proposal, and Rex will be running a How to Handle Your Jedi seminar. So it's just you, me, and Obi-Wan? Yep, and he'll be coming through the door any second now. And if I run and leap at him, I bet he will most certainly catch me in his arms. There he is, coming in. Whoa, whoa, Anakin, no, I'm holding...
Get it off! Get it off! Get it off! Get it off! Don't worry, Master. I'll get it with my lightsaber. Just hold still. Should we... Uh, should we check in on Skywalker and Tano? No, this is normal when it comes to them. Uh, only you three can turn a simple Tongs Day meditation into an intergalactic incident. Hey, I wanted to get Padme in on this instead of you. But no, we had to get the cranky old Obamacare-looking motherfucker in on this. Well, Anakin, relax. Remember, behave yourself. It's okay, Master Kenobi. Skywalker has all that pent-up small dick energy stored up from disappointing his little senator wife. That's right, motherfucker. I know all about your secret love affair. You lack control of your emotions. You're reckless and prone to violence. He won't be a master till he learns that the Jedi aren't warriors. We're peacekeepers. Excuse me? Are you really sure you want to go down that route, Master Milk Dud? Anakin knows more than anyone else that we're peacekeepers more than warriors. He could have given up being a Jedi a long time ago to be a general or something instead. Specifically because he disagrees with how we conduct wars. But he stuck with us instead. I know Anakin more than anyone else. And I trust him with my life. I believe he should take a seat on this council. In fact, he should take your seat. You dogmatic piece of greedy ass purple blade wanting shit. Guys, we're supposed to be friends here, right? Shut the fuck up, citizen. You may have gotten off free on all those charges of treason, but we both know your dumb orange ass had something to do with it. I should have sent you all off on a suicide mission when I had the chance. That's it! You can talk trash about me all day, Master Window, but you start talking about my little sister and we got a problem. What are you going to do? Stab me? Uh, did you have to do that? You heard what he said? What a nightmare! What are we going to do with the body? I have some experience with this sort of thing. Don't worry, kids. Just go wait in the other room while I work my magic. So, how are you feeling, guys? I was expecting a less devastating end to the video. I'd call it sweet, sweet justice. Master Windu was a very flawed man, and he went too far this time. I'm glad you agree, Obi-Wan. We did what's had to be done. I suppose it could be worse. Just try not to kill the guest we have in the next video, okay? Remember to like the video if you enjoyed, and subscribe to catch the next AI voice cloning video. Yes, stay tuned. I'll be back. Whoa, wait a minute.